warm, incredible, honest, compassionate, caring, humble, relentless, steadfast, paternal, talented, strong, a great teacher, giving, genuine, goofy, a genius, father, courageous, brave, awesome, and loving. What he's done is not this, it's not anything that anybody else couldn't do just as well because it had everything to do with just loving the people that you were around, loving what you were doing, and helping to foster relationships that um, enabled people to succeed in life in general, not just on stage or not in the classroom and academics and things like that, but to succeed in life and to get through it and to see somebody like him make such a difference by just loving and doing something as simple as telling stories on stage and making an impact. His work is so important because it had a ripple effect of the whole community. Uh, the students were impacted obviously very positively. One of those students was my son, but more importantly uh, the way he treated all students in this community of Alamo. He had quite a legacy, you know, um, as many shows as he took to state and as many years as, um, in a row, it's quite an accomplishment. And it wasn't just the talent, it wasn't just the accomplishments, you know, he was also a father figure and the relationship that he had with his students, you know, it was a family. The theater was family. He was definitely an honest person um, in everything that he did. It was almost unreal. And, and just thinking about just that word, like a father figure, um, to a lot of people, to people who needed that role. And I included myself when I was a student. I, I've seen it as, as a teacher and how he looked at students and how we, he would talk about certain students. And he started this whole thing where we would keep peanut butter and jelly in the office with bread because there were some kids that needed when they come to rehearsal they ate. I personally feel a lot of it was he, he felt like he it was his responsibility to take care of any student that came through these doors. Well for starters I don't think I ever would have ended up in my dream school. I was rejected from Webster University due to my academic shortcomings. He called the Dean of, of the Arts and he said you need to give this kid a chance and Mr. Gomez told him that he would not regret it. It was that conversation that exemplified his belief in his students. As a student, uh, he was really caring and patient and understanding and um, he just really believed in me more than I believed in myself. And then we became colleagues and again, I, I felt like I was doing everything wrong and he came in to make sure that I knew that I was doing everything right. And then finally, when we were both um, diagnosed with cancer, um, we leaned on each other a lot and became cancer warriors. That's what he used to call us. He helped me um, find faith and, and forgiveness, and um, he brought that back to me. And I'll be forever grateful for that. I was having really difficult issues at home and uh, my, my way of escaping was run away to the drama locker room. I sat down and I started crying and I, I thought I was by myself, you know, I, I wanted time to myself and, and I hear the door open and uh, there uh, walks in my dad and he just stands there, looks at me, gives me a chuckle and just walks over to me and just gives me a really, really fatherly hug and uh, from that point on it was just something that I just felt like I can be vulnerable with him. I remember he was just joking around and he, he just brought it up and he just said, I'm going to adopt you. And I, and, I, and I just thought it was just a joke and I laughed and I was like, yeah, sure. Um, but then uh, out of the blue, a lawyer called me up and he was like, hey, Freddie, uh, I'm, your, I'm the lawyer. I'm going to go ahead and be adopting you with Robert Gomez. It was uh, one of the best things that's ever happened in my life. I, I was looking for a dad f for so long and uh, he stepped up and, and he became one. 15 years at this school, in this community, and being well loved as he was telling stories on stage and what is life made of but, but of stories and well, his is one of the best ones to tell and that's why we're all here. Thank you for this opportunity to speak regarding the proposed renaming of the PSJ Memorial Early College High School Theater as the Roberto Gomez Jr. Performing Arts Center. He taught you how to get excited. He taught you how to get excited about learning and how to change things and not everybody turned out to be an actor 
or a Hollywood producer or a New York uh, stage actor. But he made doctors, he made lawyers, he made teachers, he made friends. Every single one of us can count Robert Gomez as one of our friends. In drama, we have the main people out here. We come up with legends. Rob is a perfect example of a drama legend. We will remember Robert forever. His children, you are so blessed to have had a father like Robert. Even though he will not be around, he can always come to this building and he will be around. All of us in this room, everybody in this community, we help you. He did, he did so much for us, and we will always remember Robert Thomas, the legend. So some of you are going to be theater majors, some of you are going into the field of communication, some of you and me don't know yet, and you may become theater majors, okay? But thank you, seniors, for the work that you have done with us. Don't forget us, and I hope that you leave here, you know, with the fondest of memories. Robert Gomez is my always. <laughs> my always. Thank you, Robert.